Greetings and welcome people. A little bit of a different start to today's recording. Well, I mean, apart from the usual intro. I'm out and about on the hunt for a snapper. No, not one of those. It's a Dalek. No, it's not one of those either. What I'm looking for is a Dalek snapper. Now you're just being silly. Basically it's a, uh, a gardening implement. And uh, according to the manufacturer's website, there are two or three stockists in my immediate vicinity, well I'd say immediate vicinity, fairly local and uh, I thought I'd check them out before I tried ordering online because some of the reviews of the particular item I'm looking for online say that uh, it arrived damaged because it is a very, it's basically a long, uh, long reach uh, pruning device. And it's called a snapper because it cuts and holds on to what you've cut off so you don't drop it down the back of sheds and things. Um, and as a result it is quite thin. So if I don't have to uh, mail order it I won't. But at the moment I can't find it anywhere local. The places that are Dalek stockists do have Dalek equipment. And uh, of course they don't have what I particularly want. But anyway, I'll keep looking. So I thought on the ride home, because I've just been to a garden centre that says it's a uh, Dalek stockist. So on the ride home, I We'll have a little chat about the... Do I want to go down here? I think I want to go down here. Yes, I do. Uh, a video I watched recently from young Mr. Calm Biker. In which he basically discussed the... the way a lot of motorcyclists use rev bombs instead of the horn, the audible warning device on that's already in installed on every motorcycle. And basically put it down to, you know, what, what what's the thought process behind choosing whether to sound a horn or rev the engine to alert other people of your presence. Now I'm already on record as saying that uh, I don't think rev bombs are a viable alternative to sounding the horn. I'll put a link in the um, in the description to my video and to Calm Biker's video, so you can have a look and see what you think. Um, basically, in my view, if you're in a situation where you need to alert a road user, another road user, that could be anything from a pedestrian to an HGV driver. Um, in my view it's much quicker to just move my left thumb and press that button to sound the horn that leaves my other feature, uh, extremities, my, ha my other hands, free to operate the front brake and throttle as necessary. Obviously to do a rev bomb you have to pull in the clutch and rev the, the throttle. If you can rev the throttle enough to make a loud noise from your loud exhaust, then I would suggest that you probably cannot at the same time pull the front brake. You might be able to. Um, ugh, still getting used to these boots. In my view, I'd rather have my 
throttle hand, fully available for operating the front brake. But anyway, that's not the that's not what I was going to talk about. What his video made me realise, I think, is if you are in that situation where you've got to decide whether you're going to sound the horn or um, oh no, I don't want to go that way. I'm in the wrong wrong way. Uh, whether you want to sound a horn or, or, or a rev bomb, the problem's already arisen. And it is quite possible that you could look at how that problem arose and decide whether you could have done something before you needed to sound a horn or rev the engine. Now I know all of these situations, hindsight is 2020. You can always look at a video of somebody doing something and it goes wrong and you think, well if they haven't done this or not done that. I'm not with the other guy, you know. <laughs> um, I, uh, it's happened to me on a couple of occasions. I Certainly on one occasion I did have a little bit of video, which I cannot find now. I, I'm sure I've got it somewhere, but I can't find it. Where I was riding along, filtering between two lines of Slow, very slow moving traffic and uh, one of the cars that I had about a minute earlier witnessed move from the left lane to the right lane just as I was about to filter past on their near side down the centre line of the two lanes this car suddenly decided no it wants to be back in the left lane no signal and obviously no mirror just chopped back across the lane now because I wasn't going very fast and because I had all the controls covered because I was filtering I was able to safely come to a stop and I put that video up for some of my fellow motorcyclists to, to look at and of course we get the one comment and say well you know if you just waited a bit longer before starting to filter that wouldn't have happened. Yes, I know. Once you've seen the video, you can say, well, you should have waited. My thought was, how long do you wait? All you can do, I think, is go ahead with your planned action, but be ready for any eventuality. It's, it's easy to say, very broad brush, be prepared for anything. And to be honest, if if you know, we want to prepare for just about anything, any eventuality, we'd never leave our houses. So obviously that's not an option. Um, I think I might be going the wrong way again. Oh well. So, thinking about why you're in that situation where you either have to sound the horn or rev the engine. How did that situation come about? As I say, post analysis is always easy. And I'm not one of those people that always says, well, anything that goes wrong involving a motorbike, it's got to be one of the motorcyclists that's the fault. No, I don't believe that at all. Um, where do we want to go this way? I don't know, as good as way as any. So just think about things like are you visible enough? 
this is one thing that is a sort of bugbear with me. People say, oh, loud pipe saves lives. My view is no, being seen saves lives. Because you can be seen from a lot further away than you can be heard, especially in heavy traffic and built up areas. And I'm perfectly aware as well that there are some other road users out there or of all types that just seem to have a big problem with seeing motorbikes, motorcyclists. That doesn't mean you shouldn't do everything you possibly can to be seen. Oh, I've got no idea where I'm going, but it's nice. I'm just around here. I'm going to stop and check on my phone in a minute. Check the map. I did have navigation running, but I think putting on my audio recording device has uh, muted that. So, you know, think about your bike, how you're dressed. If you're one of these motorcyclists that's happy to dress all in black leather, you've got a blacked out bike, you never put any lights on, I mean, it's all your choice, but think about, are you contributing to not being seen? I mean, I'm not wearing particularly bright clothing. I'm wearing a white crash helmet. I do have daytime running lights on on my bike, and my bike is a good strong blue colour, so it's hardly likely to blend into the background. And yes, I fully understand that there are always going to be those circumstances where no matter what you do, things can take a turn for the worse. So at that point, do you... Uh, which way am I going? I have no idea. Let's go this way. And me doodling about like this, not concentrating on my riding, is probably going to contribute to me having a mishap if I'm not careful. Oh dear. Now I know some. Some uh, motorcyclists seem to have a religious aversion to using the horn on their bike. I do remember once seeing a uh, Royal Jordanian video where he was riding an electric bike and he came up behind a couple of pedestrians that were just ambling across the road. And instead of giving the horn a little like that to let them know he's there, he whistled at them. I mean, come on. The horn on the bike is there for a flipping reason. Okay, admittedly most horns on bikes are pathetic, weedy and hardly of any benefit at all. Where am I now? I don't know where I am. Literally. It's on the Selsey Road. See anything on that light back there? Yeah, obviously came the wrong way, didn't I? Yep. myself out of this hole I've gotten into. bit odd to me that people are more concerned with looking cool than being safe. 
nothing wrong with looking good. You want to ride your bike and look good? Go for it. That's why we keep our bikes nice and clean and shiny, isn't it, boys and girls? But if you're prioritising appearance over safety and comfort, then maybe that's not so good. Yeah, I'm on the wrong road, aren't I, mate? Yep. There's somewhere to pull up and... So, yeah, I think, yeah, obviously not uh, dictating to people what they should or shouldn't do, but maybe just trying to get people to think about whether they are doing anything to help themselves, as it were. I've got to go back the way I came, I think I have. So on that um, possibly quite uh, annoying note, I think I'll sign off now and try and find my way home. So I don't think this flipping sat now is going to help me very much. Yes, I'll say uh, thank you for taking a look. You know, I can't get to the control for my uh, voice recorder now. Yeah, thank you for taking a look, and I'll um, speak to you again next time. Cheerio for now. Bye.